Oh boy, there's a guy in the NFC South, a quarterback, who's talking crazy. Never really won nothing compared to the other guys, and he's talking goofy, saying silly things. Yeah, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna get into it in a second. But it's good having confidence. Always a good thing having confidence. But you gotta back things up. Can't just be talking talking crazy, talking goofy, talking silly. Oh well, yeah, some numbers, you know, but compared to the guys I'm gonna talk about in a minute, there's no comparison. What's up, y'all? It's Corner Sports Net. Do not forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. It's real easy. Talk about the NFC South quarterbacks. I was reading something about Matt Ryan claiming that he's the best quarterback in the NFC South. Hmm. He might be the best quarterback in the NFC South today. But that division you have, let's see, you have Tom Brady with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and he's only won six Super Bowls. And then you have Drew Brees with the Saints. He's only won a Super Bowl and has brought his team in the playoffs like three straight years. You have yourself, Matt Ryan, for Atlanta Falcons. And then you got the up-and-comer, Teddy Bruce, Teddy Bridgewater who's going to take over the reins in Carolina. Matt Ryan, um, this is not fair, but this was going to happen. You're going to always be remembered as the guy that blew a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl. Always. Yeah, and I know you're the all-time leading passer for the Falcons, but 57,000 yards passing and touchdown passes and... You won an MVP. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. You won an MVP, but you're always going to be remembered for that guy, that that quarterback who lost a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl to a guy that plays in your division, who's, who's the best to ever do it. So you saying you're the best quarterback in NFC South, eh, it's cute, it's nice, it's possible, but I don't see where you're better than Breeze, who's getting more efficient as a passer as he approaches, what, 42 years old? And if you don't think Tom Brady's going to turn around Tampa Bay in 2020, so, okay, I'll go along with you saying you're, you're probably the best quarterback in the NFC South. And, and the thing is, Matt Ryan, you're going to make it to the Hall of Fame. But when they mention you, they're going to mention, oh, yeah, Matt Ryan, great quarterback, but he lost in the Super Bowl, didn't he? Didn't they have like a 25-point lead? Because every time I read something about the Falcons, and then they start, and then they talk about the quarterback. I'm thinking Super Bowl loss to the Patriots. And Matt Ryan, your numbers are real nice, gaudy numbers. But you're gonna be remembered for that guy you, as that guy. You're gonna be remembered as the guy that lost the Super Bowl. After having a 25 point lead. I believe it was 28 to 3. It's not fair. But just how life is. We tend to remember the things that stand out. Yeah you pass for a gazillion yards. That's cool. It's nice. But we remember the things that. The big moments. Super Bowl was the biggest moment in football. And first half, he was he was on fire. He was, he was lights out. Second half, uh, Tom Brady put it together. Him and Bill Belichick. And then you had Coach didn't want to run the ball. He just stopped running the ball. How? 
you got a 25 point lead and your head coach stops running the ball. But I'm not going to get into it. Matt Ryan, you're a fine quarterback. You're going to make the Hall of Fame. Heck, one day you might even win a Super Bowl. But you're always going to be that guy that blew a 25 point lead in the Super Bowl. And saying that you're better than Brady, eh, you could say that right now, but he's the best to ever do it. Then saying you're better than Drew Brees, who's what the all time leading passer in yardage and close, to, I think, all time leader in touchdown passes. So it's good that you have confidence in yourself, Matt Ryan, but you're going to be that guy. The guy that blew up, blew that big lead in the Super Bowl. Talk to these guys later. It's Corner Sports Net. Now, I put this list on here to show that Matt Ryan, like I said, you're a fine quarterback. You're probably going to end up in the Hall of Fame. But the guys that's ranked number one and number two on the list playing your division, they're Drew Brees and Tom Brady. Like saying you're the best is cool. You should have confidence in yourself. But you got to back it up. Brees... And the GOAT, Tom Brady, they won Super Bowls. They got more passing yards than you. They got more touchdown passes than you. They won more division titles than you. In Tom Brady's case, he's won more MVPs than you. More playoff games. And these lists don't even... The other men show the top two guys, which is Tom Brady and Drew Brees. So I'm going to disagree with you. I don't think you're the best quarterback in the NFC South. And I'm not just, I'm not going to, I didn't mention Teddy Bridgewater because he has a long way to go. But he has potential to be a real good quarterback. A real good quarterback. But I'm going to say it again. I mean, the NFC South, they got some tough quarterbacks. It's going to be some good games if there's a football season. But you got to be able to back things up. And you're the guy, Matt Ryan, where, you know, you lost the Super Bowl. And you had the biggest lead ever. Now, I didn't really touch based too much on Teddy Bridgewood, and I should have. Of course, he's an NFC South quarterback, and we all know his story. Came back from horrific injuries. Then he got right when he went to New Orleans because he was learning from Drew Brees, who... Like I said, it's getting better every year as far as passing efficiency. And Drew Brees is like 41, 41 years old, 42 years old. But Teddy went, Teddy went 5 and five and 0 last year when um, Drew Brees was hurt. Now he's going to be playing in Carolina with Matt Rule. So, the upside with Teddy is still, he still has upside. He still has upside. Actually, the NFC South is going, to, is going to be crazy. You got, look at the weapons that Tampa Bay has. You 
got Gronk, got Godwin, Mike Evans. When Gronk, when Gronk can't go, you got O.J. Howard at the tight end position, who's a solid tight end. Yeah, but don't sleep on, do not sleep on Teddy Bridgewater. I ain't mean to slight him at all. He's a good quarterback. I'm out.